Good day, Yogi Clan. Welcome back to Yogi Cycle Service. I want to thank you for joining us here back in the garage at the Yogi Shop. What do we have planned today? Today, we got planned cleaning this junk right here off this pipe. If you look, there is a huge burn on the pipe. So last weekend, I was down in Daytona. On the way back home, it started raining. It started raining pretty good. So I put on my rain pants. And as you can see, if I can find it, Yes, we burn a good size hole through the rain pants. I didn't know it. I pulled into the gas station, stopped, parked the bike, was talking to a friend, and all of a sudden I saw smoke coming out. And I looked down and found the hole in my pants. <laughs> but that left a big nasty spot on here. So what are we going to try? Today we got some 4 out steel wool, some 4 out steel wool. We have a can of Easy Off Oven Cleaner. So we're gonna try some Easy Off Oven Cleaner and then after we're done, we're gonna clean it off with some Windex. But uh, what I'd like to do really is I would like to spray this on here and then I'd like to use a piece of wood to kind of use this to scrape scrape it off because I, I don't think this, will, this won't scratch up and it won't damage our pipes. So we're gonna use wood, we're gonna spray it on clean it up and see what happens see if this works so stay tuned we'll roll the intro and we'll be right back all right welcome back let's get this process started first thing we're going to do we're going to take something because i don't want to spray this all over the engine we're going to protect protect our engine first, first and foremost. We're gonna create our spray area. Go ahead and shake this up. This is just regular, easy off, fume free, safe for self cleaning ovens with a lemon fresh scent. Go ahead and spray this on. I'll be fairly generous with this. Put the paper towel down and catch any drips. And now that we're sprayed on, let's go ahead and remove these cloths. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fire this bike up and let it run for four minutes. Four minutes. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the bike has run for four minutes. What I would ideally like to do is use a wooden spoon to scrape this off. But I didn't have a wooden spoon available, so we're just going to use this. So let's see what, what happens. actually getting quite a lot off.
I would say that got probably close to 90% of that off. Let's uh let's spray another round. Let's put another round of spray on there. Gotta be careful now because this is hot. All right, now that we sprayed some more on there and let it sit for a moment, let's try it again. Some more scraping. Looks to be just about have gotten most everything off of there. All I have to do is let that cool off for a minute. Then what we're going to do is hit it with some Windex. And then we're going to finish it off with some 4 out Hit it with some Windex and we'll finish it off with some 4 out steel wool. So let's let this cool and be right back and finish it off. Alright, now that the bike is cooled off a little bit let's go ahead and spray it with some windex and clean it up a little bit and see what we have left go ahead and spray down still is a little bit warm all right all right so we got a little bit right in there, and we got a little bit right here, a little bit right there. So let's take a 4 aught, some 4 aught SOS pad steel wool, see what we can get off with that. Just about do it. Look pretty darn clean to me. Looks like I got it all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray just a little bit on this cloth here, wipe it down. I don't want any residue from any little steel particles on there to create some rust spots. In case there's any steel wool dust on there, go ahead and spray a little, a little uh, Windex on this cloth. Wipe it all off that way. Won't develop any kind of rust, rust spots from any residues. The steel wool. Bam. There you have it. Ten minutes. It works good for boots, works good for rain pants, or anything else you burn on that pipe. So I hope this tip helps you if you got anything burned on your pipes. Uh, thank you for joining us in the garage here at Yogi Cycle Shop. Yogi Cycle Service. Stay tuned for more videos coming. Orphan Run is coming up in another two weeks. Two weeks out. I hope to see you all there. Things we got coming. One of the next projects I'm going to do here in the shop is working on a swing arm saddlebag. Installing a swing arm saddlebag on a soft tail. I have that coming up and we'll have to continue on with the Safety Tip Tuesday. And uh, for product review Thursday this week, I'm also going to do a snippet on progressive shocks for the soft tail. Because I put progressive shocks on that soft tail probably about a year ago. So I'd like to give you some review on that and what I think of those. So stay tuned. Like, subscribe so you don't miss any content. Thank you for joining us today. And we'll see you back here at Yogi Cycle Service soon. All right, peeps. Take care, Yogi Clan. Peace.